This is the second generation of Lexus's midsize NX family SUV. It's the Japanese luxury carmaker's best-selling model across Europe no less, so it's important to get a replacement model right. It ticks all the boxes at first glance, though the styling has been sharpened up and the awful old infotainment is fixed. Everything else is as expected, a smooth evolution, as Lexus puts it. Speaking of proportions, the new NX is an all-new model underpinned by a new platform. The GAK version of the Toyota new global architecture, TNGA, also underpins larger cars within the group like the fifth-generation Toyota iv 4 latest Toyota Harrier and Lexus ES, among other C or D segment models. The GAK platform gives the NX a slightly larger body, at 4,660 mm long and 1,865 mm wide, it's 20 mm larger in both directions. The 2,690 mm wheelbase is 30 mm longer than before, while it's a a touch taller too. 20 mm to the footprint doesn't change the NX's proposition, but if it looks more stout, that might be the effect of the wider track and 20-inch wheels, 2 inches larger than the original NX's launch rims. There are a couple of notable design cues that sets the new NX apart. The hood has been extended to the edge of the front end, while the signature spindle grille surface has been raised vertically, both measures combine for a visually longer front end. The upright grille enables more efficient airflow and cooling too, Lexus says. The full-width light bar at the back of the car is set to be a new Lexus signature styling touch, and its old signature styling touch, the fishhook DIL at the front of the car, has been neatly integrated into the headlights, which are better LEDs. Inside, the new Chizuna ethos allows the driver to intuitively connect with the car and concentrate more on driving operations, and that is done by having a huge touchscreen of a center stack angled at the driver. Not only is the 14.0-inch screen, there's also a 9.8-inch version 6 inches larger than the old one, its touch function has finally eliminated the brand's remote touch controller, the mouse-like contraption that's frankly quite a hassle to use. The big screen is surrounded by a couple of physical controls. Note the location of the start button and drive mode select switch, which are placed for the driver to reach without losing driving posture. There's Android Auto and Apple CarPlay support too, with the latter supporting wireless connection via Wi-Fi. With the remote touch controller gone, Lexus has found space for an easy-to-reach Qi wireless charger, which can slide away to reveal a cubby. There's plenty new in the powertrain department, with the biggest news being Lexus' first-ever plug-in hybrid system. The PHEV joins a regular hybrid, a new 2.4L turbo, and a 2.5L naturally aspirated engine, with FWD, or AWD, or E4 options. The PHEV, badged NX 450H+, pairs a 2.5-litre Atkinson cycle four-cylinder engine with front and rear electric motors, juiced by a 18.1 kWh lithium-ion battery. This is the same system found in the Toyota iv 4 Prime, with just minor differences in the placement of components. There's an evolved Lexus Safety System Plus with expanded detection range from the millimeter wave radar and monocular camera. The suite includes pre-crash safety, radar cruise control with all-speed follow function, lane departure alert, lane tracing assist, road sign assist and proactive driving assist. The price of the Lexus NX starts at $37.950 for the base $250 with FWD. Thanks for watching and give your comments below.